Yeah, I mean, that I'm really grateful that I got that second year <clears throat> and got to f that full experience. You know, uh, last year the fans were kind of missing, and um, first year in an offense is, never goes as planned. You know, and getting that second year, got to feel more comfortable and got the fans and spending yeah everything that I could have hoped for. That would be yeah. That that would be so awesome, and uh, it's it's obviously doable, and we all believe that it's doable, and uh, we all truly believe that we're going to come out and end it on a good note and uh, send this team off in a good direction heading into next season. I think uh, just playing at the biggest stage. Uh, my goal is obviously to to play at the next level, whether it's NFL, CFL. I, that's always been my goal, and uh, showing that I can do it at at the highest level in Power Five and the Big Ten. Uh, I'm grateful that I got the opportunity to use this platform and hopefully prove the case that I can play at the next level. Just getting in right away. Uh, I know I got in and texted Luke and Adrian right away and just said, hey, let's go over the offense. Just learn as much as you can. Uh, get to know the guys as much as you can. Uh, develop those relationships fast and just, just throw yourself all the way in. And uh, don't look back. And just do everything the right way, too. Is always showing up on time, asking questions. and. Just, yeah, everything's got to be you learning, learning as fast as you can, and learning the guys and the coaches as fast as you can, and just uh, all in. How much did it feel like you, you, you already kind of knew how to prepare from your previous experience in college? How, how helpful was that? That was huge. Yeah, just learning all the little things. You know, you you learn a lot that you can carry over, and basically when I come to Nebraska, it's just learning the verbiage, the new words mean different things, but. Other than that, I mean, I knew from just playing in games, you know, the, the right spacing, the spacing you need to have, uh, how to set certain corners up on different coverages, and all that's transferable. It's just mainly just learning the new words. You guys are obviously really aggressive on offense Saturday. Scott Frost said after the game, because you're planning for it, guys kind of have to I think so, yeah. Um, Wisconsin was ranked if the best defense, if not, you know, Georgia maybe slightly ahead of them. But, I mean, their numbers, they're, they're top defense in the nation. And we kind of just put our mind to it, like, we're going to be aggressive here. And we truly believe that we're a really good offense that can put up yards against anyone. So uh, coming out and doing that against Wisconsin uh, gave us a lot of confidence. And I think going into Iowa, yeah, we're going we're gonna to be aggressive. and. We have all the confidence in the world that we're going to be able to be successful. What, what is, uh, what's Mike Cassano like as a guy to have at the front of your room here for, for a couple of weeks? And I guess what was your relationship with him like before he, he's taken over here recently? Yeah, before he was, he was in the room. He wasn't leading the meetings, but he, we would put in extra work with him. You know, uh, when Lubick would be in meetings with Frost, uh, Kazzy would, uh, we call him Kazzy. Well, we'd we'd uh, have some extra meetings with him and just going over the little details like that. And he's always been really involved. And now that he's the head guy, I mean, it really hasn't changed much. You know, he he's still in there. He he's leading the meetings now, but um, he was leading meetings like those extra meetings before. And we all have a really good relationship with him. And yeah, we trust him 100%. And uh, we haven't looked back. I think they play really well together. Um, they're cohesive, and they've played a lot of games together uh, as a unit, and they've been really successful. But uh, so is Wisconsin. Like they, they all played together. Those corners played, started in 30-plus games each. And uh, um, yeah, we're still going to be aggressive against them and be successful and put up some yards against them, for sure. Can you speak to Adrian's toughness? 
Davis. I mean, he had to lose the game again. And came mm-hmm. back in and he's done that twice this year. We know he's played with an injury. I mean, what have you just seen from him over the course of the season? Everyone just is, I'd say, amazed by by what he's gone through. and. And you haven't really seen his play dip. You know, he's always he's always out there running around and making athletic throws on the run and making good decisions. Uh, he yeah he threw that interception, but I mean his shoulder was hurting and uh, didn't look back. Uh, last drive drove us all the way down the field, and it's just crazy to see. You know, he's playing through multiple injuries. You know, some guys usually have one injury that they're playing through. He's playing through multiple, and that just Everyone on the team is just amazed and look up to him, and uh, we're really proud of what he's accomplished this, this year. Levi, how do you feel about the receiver room that you're kind of doing the lead behind? You've seen all the young talent, you've seen how they're doing behind the scenes. What's your vibe on, on that group as, as it goes on? Yeah, from when I came here to what it is now, it's made tremendous strides. Everyone's showing up on time, everyone knows the offense now, and they're not even so much asking me like, well, oh, what do I have on this route? Like everyone knows what they have on this route. Now they're kind of getting into like the deeper questions is what should I do to attack this corner? And uh, the strides that they, uh, these young guys have made has been awesome. And uh, me and Samari are going to be leaving obviously after this game. I think we're both proud of uh, how much work they've put in and, and how we've led them uh, a little bit in the right direction. Mm-hmm. The impact he made. Yeah, you guys have all seen it. He's uh, works his tail off and uh, crazy fast, and just has a special gift of getting over, getting open over the middle. And uh, if the ball's in the air, he's going to come down with it. Uh, it's been really awesome to watch him and see him succeed at at the top level, coming from an FCS school. I think so. Um, you know, it's recruiting's a tricky thing. Uh, obviously, the FBS schools aren't going to catch every single top talented guy. Some guys are going to fly under the radar. Some guys were injured during high school and have to go to the FCS route. And uh, I think uh, maybe some people underestimate the talent at the FCS level, especially uh, FC, uh, the Missouri Valley and uh, Samari's conference. Is that the Big Sky? The Big Sky is. Unreal talent too, and uh, yeah, maybe some people underestimate how much talent is in those leagues. Yeah, 